Your time on the road is invaluable. Downtime from a dead battery can cost you time and money, but it doesn't have to when you have a Rescue Booster Pack on board. The Rescue Booster Pack 2000 is especially designed to start 12 and 24 volt systems to get you back on the road within minutes. In the next few minutes, we'll show you how to jumpstart that big rig. Remember always to wear safety glasses around lead acid batteries. Okay, let's begin. Make sure the rig's ignition is off and the transmission is not in gear. Likewise, be sure the parking brake is activated. Next, be sure the on-off switch on the rescue booster pack is turned off as well. Check to ensure all electrical sources and devices are turned off. Anything that runs on the battery like headlamps, two-way radio, air conditioning, refrigerator, and TVs. Next, remove the battery box cover. Check the battery compartment. You'll want to check for cracked or leaking batteries, and you'll also need to determine if your truck is running on a 12 or 24 volt system. Here's an easy way to determine voltage. If all the positive terminals are connected together in a line and all the negative terminals are connected in a line, the voltage will not exceed that of the highest battery. This is called a parallel connection. A series connection consists of positive to negative, which will result in an increase in voltage. In this particular jump start, the truck is operating on a 12 volt system. For more information on voltage and battery, go to quickhowto.com. Now that you've determined the voltage, you're ready to connect the booster pack to your rig's battery. First check to see the battery pack is fully charged. The internal battery status gauge indicates a well charged battery. Remember that the booster pack's on off switch should still be in the off position. Now set the voltage switch to the correct setting. We've determined that this truck runs on a 12 volt system, but in this scenario, we'll set the voltage to 24 just to see what happens. Next, attach the red positive clamp to a red positive terminal. Take care in checking polarity before attaching clamps. Continue by connecting the black negative clamp to a non-moving metal part of the battery compartment. In this case, we use a metal bolt used to secure the hold down. Do you hear that? The Rescue Booster Pack will alert you with a continuous audible signal and light when you have an improper connection. The Booster Pack will detect reverse polarity as well as incorrect voltage setting. In this scenario, the clamps appear to be attached correctly, so we'll look at the Booster Pack's voltage switch. It's set for 24 volts, yet we have already determined that this truck runs on a 12 volt system. A simple switch to 12 volts and the Safeguard audible signal and light will stop. Now that you have the correct connection and the booster pack is set for the right voltage, turn the on-off switch to on. The intermittent beeping is letting you know the unit is turned on. When you turn the booster pack off, the beeping will stop. Okay, go ahead and try starting the rig. You'll want to keep the rig running for a while so the battery can recharge itself. Meanwhile, turn off the booster pack and disconnect the clamp, starting with the black, then the red. Recharge your rescue booster pack as soon as possible. You've just successfully started your rig, saving you and your company valuable time and money. Now that's a boost. For more information on rescue booster packs, visit related sites on quickhowto.com.